y'all, it's Trisha. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys what our homeschool schedule looks like. So if you are interested in anything, homeschooling, mom life, grocery hauls, any of that, that is what my channel is all about. But right now, I am really focusing and narrowing it down to homeschooling so that I can answer so many people's questions because they are really thinking about it being a possibility for this next year. So if you are interested in these types of videos, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, um, say hi in the comments below, and let's get started. Okay, so right here I have our daily homeschool schedule. I like to call it a routine or flows as um, there's a YouTuber, Ashley from Grace and Grit, that's her channel. She calls it her daily flows for her kids, and I really really love that um, idea of it because it's basically a routine. They know what comes next and what you do every single day in that order. So I'm gonna turn the camera around in a minute and show you exactly what our routine looks like. But I want you to know that instead of being in normal um, school where they do math for maybe 45 minutes at a time and they have a set block, we don't go by times at all because things come up in the home. You might um, have appointments scheduled during the day, or you might get a phone call. You might need to, um, it might be a beautiful day and you just wanna to go to the park. So we don't limit ourselves to that, um, but we do try to stick to our routine. And then also, my kids know that they basically do one lesson a day. So instead of setting off 45 minutes for math, my son knows that if he completes his math um, lesson, which is usually front and back or between one and three or four pages. Once he gets that lesson done for the day, he's done. He can stop there and he can move on to the next thing in his routine. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you what our routine looks like. Okay, so here is our daily routine or our flows. And I just have on there just the basics in the morning. They'll obviously have breakfast when they first get up. Um, and have a little bit of downtime. But then once we start our day, they are supposed to get dressed. That's not to say we don't stay in our pajamas on rainy days, because we do sometimes. Um, and then brush teeth, and then I have morning time. Morning time can be um, anything, kind of like circle time in preschool. Um, if you're new here, I have a going to be first grader and a going into uh, pre-K child, so two children that we homeschool and we homeschooled all of last year. So our morning time will consist of the Pledge of Allegiance, weather, calendar time, counting, and memory work, whether that's a Bible verse or a poem that we're working on in language arts. And then we have morning basket and snack time. And I purposely put snack time in there because it helps uh, my children sit still. Young kids, it helps during read aloud time, any of that. And in our morning basket, we have our Bible curriculum that we will go ahead and do, handwriting, and explode the code. So that is part of our curriculum, and I just went ahead and put that in there for morning basket time to get it over with. So it doesn't really seem like schoolwork time. And then also in morning basket, we can have anything from puzzles and flashcards to watercolors and read alouds, anything like that. And if you aren't familiar with a morning basket, I will link that video in the description box below. And then we have outside time or play time inside if the weather is too hot or storming, anything like that, because they need to get their wiggles out before we start in on the harder stuff. Then we have language arts, science, and or history. I flip flop those days a lot like uh, social studies we will do on Mondays and Wednesdays, science Tuesday, Thursday, that type of thing, depending on um, how our lessons go. Then we'll eat lunch. And then after lunch, we do math. So I have a lot of friends that try and get everything done first thing in the morning, and that is my goal. But last year I found it very helpful to save math for the afternoons because the kids were getting kind of tired of having you know, 
to do everything in the morning and they just needed some downtime. So we wait for math until after lunchtime and they can focus a little bit better. And then after math, we have quiet time and then free time. So that is our daily routine and flows. Um, after several weeks, the kids know exactly what to expect and what to do next. And if they don't, I can just tell them, go to your chart. I usually make this into a checklist so they can check it off because who doesn't love a checklist? But that is our routine or our schedule, whatever you want to call it, but we don't use times like a normal schedule rigidly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you. Um, stay tuned because I will be doing a whole video. This is my planner, happy planner on um, planning your year. That will be my next video. So if you're interested in that, please turn on the notification bell and make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.